Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a little weekend vlog. It's actually bank holiday weekends, which is so good. I don't know about you guys, but I literally need this bank holiday weekend and a bit of a rest. And for once, the sun's shining. So we're gonna make the most of it and head on out to the seaside to enjoy the nice weather. I thought I'd take you guys along to enjoy the weekend with us. And this vlog is also very, very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh, so stay tuned for that because later on in the vlog, I've got an awesome, awesome discount code to share with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if so. Leave us a comment down below and subscribe if you're not already. It's not going very well, guys. We're about 15 minutes in on our way to the beach and the tire pressure things just come up so rob's just gonna measure all the tire pressure i had new tires on friday so it's probably to do with that we have recalibrated it since but it's come up again so before we get on the main roads we're just trying to figure out what's going on and hopefully i don't need any more tires because i would have just paid for two don't want to pay for more hopefully we are going to get to the beach today we've got um my mother and sean behind us as well we're all in like convoy so we'll be all right there he is just about see him oh god that does not look like a good face i really hope there's nothing wrong glad he knows what he's doing because i wouldn't have the foggiest on how to do tire pressure not a clue got a little unicorn back here hello paisley hello Hello. She's actually just been on on a FaceTime call while tethering from my phone with her cousin. So we've had like half the conversation <laughs> that we've been able to hear, which is it's quite cute really listening to them all. But yeah, bless her. Right, we're all good, they're all fine apparently. So don't know what the car's up to. But oh <laughs> comfy. But let's get to the seaside we made it we've actually come out to clacton pier which is in essex it's got like some little rides and amusements and stuff it's just quite nice for paisley oh there's a dog down there playing in the water adorable i wish i could bring bren but he's just a bit a bit old now it is blooming cold to tell you that now there's me getting excited about it being a bit sunny <laughs> it's definitely not sunny here i feel like i'm to get blown away swept out to sea Oh, there's dinosaurs here at the pier today. Nice velociraptor. <laughs> wow. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. I wanna say forever, we could be good together. Guess misery loves company. Better to lay them. Like being at Universal Studios, Jurassic Pier. He's over there, like squirting people with water. It's quite funny, actually. Oh, look at this guy, Paisley. Look. Hello, baby Don. <laughs> He's a bit cheeky, that guy, no? <laughs> Seaside donuts. They smell really nice. Is it nice, Rob? Yeah. You see the first ride? Not a water ride, crazy girl. Oh gosh, it's just been raining. So we just got a um, £20 ride card thing. So we've got 24 credits. People are on that water ride and it's just been raining. It's freezing. We're just looking out for what Paisley might fancy first. Rob. Oh my gosh. Are you up for that twister one again? Do you remember? I think it's closed. Oh, is it? Oh, how convenient. <laughs> I wouldn't dare go on that. But we did just win. I think the mum's volunteered. A little bit. Has she? Yeah. That's fine then, we're out. <laughs> little huts look good. I don't think these were here last time that we were here. You've got tornado fries, which I guess are like spiral fries, like at uh, Halloween Horror Nights. You've got churros, always a winner. And donuts. The nice murky sea. Lovely and brown. Paisley's gonna have a bounce up on these trampolines as her first choice. So Paisley's just going on a little um, wild mouse ride and she's asked the man if he can wait and go front row. <laughs> Where's she got that from, Rob? No idea. <laughs>
come to get some seaside fish and chips, or, or in this case, fish and a whale. whale. <laughs> so big. Yeah, that's a lovely little cod fish in you, darling. Have all the Go on, dip them in. <gasps> Is it cold? Our HelloFresh box has just arrived and if you're not already familiar with HelloFresh, it's a recipe box delivery service which helps with your daily routine and meal planning. This week we went with sweet Thai styled pulled beef tacos, bento style honey sriracha chicken gyozas which looks so good and potenchesca inspired chicken tray bake which is actually what we're making today and it comes with a really really helpful step-by-step -step guide which makes preparing your meal super easy there's over a hundred recipes to choose from, from street food to kid friendly, calorie friendly, and so many more. I love HelloFresh because it allows me to branch out and try so many more recipes. You guys may know that I am a bit of a fussy eater, so I really like being able to try new things. The ingredients are so, so fresh. I love how colorful everything is, and the recipes are quick and delivered straight to your front door. This turned out so well. It smells amazing amazing and also looks quite like the picture so i'll take that that was absolutely delicious the taste of that chicken was so fresh it was like a perfect summery light dish loved it if you'd like to try out HelloFresh, then please use the code wonderland60 for 60 percent off your first box and the best bit free desserts for life which is amazing who doesn't love dessert i'll pop the code on the screen below or if it's easier you can just scan this qr code which will take you straight through to my link where as i say you can get a really good discount and those free desserts for life and again a great big thank you to hellofresh for sponsoring today's vlog we are home from the beach we had such a fun time like you know just like a traditional fun chilled uk beach day it was really fun hello angel hello my darling oh i love you so much you've been with granddad haven't you wow he's been with his granddad i brought him home a sausage from the um fish and chips place so he was really happy and the tires were fine in the end so all worked out it's really really lovely day it's actually like quarter to six now so we've been out all day like which is long like today's just literally flown by we were having so much fun but while we were there in clacton i got some furniture um we're doing some bits in casey's room at the minute so we're getting her a new bed hide that hide that put your tail down turn it around turn it around we want to see your little hoop we were <laughs> we've got paisley a new bed coming um Friday that's come in and a new mattress which is bigger than the one she's got currently so Macy what are you doing? Macy's making all the noise in the world on her water bottle. Bunny! Now the dog's having a drink. Let's work through it. Fun on the farm and all that. But yeah she's got a bigger bed coming so we've changed some of the other furnishings in her room. So her chest of drawers she had a tall one. I'll show you when I go up there and then a short one but they were both quite wide like they protruded into the room quite a lot so we've changed one of them already to a skinny tall chest of drawers and then this i've got is like an ikea calax thing but actually from argos because they had it in the clacton argos but they didn't have it in our argos they didn't have it in cambridge berry braintree like anywhere so i thought right that's it i'm going to grab it while we're here so rob and i walked across clacton town with this blooming great box which was an experience but i've got it now and i've got these um four canvas boxes that are going to go inside it haven't measured anything guys <laughs> i ordered the first one and then i was looking at the measurements afterwards probably should have looked at them before i was looking afterwards and it said it was 60 centimeters which is like two rulers so that was tiny so i like cancelled that order and put the order through for the two by three so it'll be a bit taller this one i think is 90 centimeters so hopefully it's gonna be all right so i need to put this together now and then change over everything in her drawers upstairs and yeah just try and get the bedroom in a position because i'm not gonna have a lot of time this week between work and all the things that paisley's got going on so it'll be good to get this done today hello mate hello hello 
Hello, he's having a sniff of all the boxes. It's new, isn't it? Hello, my darling. But yeah, when it's like towards the end of the week, Thursday probably I'll have to start dismantling Paisley's bed. Um, she'll be happy if I take it down on Thursday night and tell her she can have a sleepover with me on Thursday. She'll like that. Then we'll be ready. Oh, baby boy. Then we'll be ready for the IKEA delivery, which is gonna come on Friday, which is very exciting. Here we go. They call me DIY Dennis. So I'm gonna get going on this. They look like quite a good height, actually. I think they'll be just right. Her telly's on the wall, so this will go like underneath that. And then we've got the four cubes. The cube things don't come in sixes, and we need six, but I think I've got a spare from IKEA, actually. Is that, yeah, there's one. I'm sure there's one that's not even open. I'm sure there's probably one upstairs as well. Um, or actually, I think it does look quite effective when people have kind of like a couple empty and put like a little plant or an ornament or something in it. So we'll see how we go. All right, rocky start. I've got all the bits and bobs out. Tools required. Phillips screwdriver, do not have. Flathead screwdriver, do not have. Hammer, no. Pencil, yes. We've got pencils. We've got loads of pencils. Tape measure, yes. Eye protection. I've got sunglasses. Drill, no. Drill bits, no. Spirit level, absolutely not. Might try and do it with the knife. I think I'll use the pizza knife. I've done it, guys. Who needs all those tools? Who needs a hammer when you've got hands? Who needs a drill when you've got little Allen, Allen key that come with it? Bossed it. I did really well. Who needs tools when you're a strong, independent, woman like me apparently because i did it and i'm quite proud let me show you guys how it's turned out because i've just sorted out all the drawers and everything and it's still working out quite lovely right just ignore how dark it is in this room because we've got the blackout blinds on at the moment so paisley can sleep but this is what we've done and i think it actually looks all right with the four drawers I did mess up a little bit and damage the wood at one point so i wouldn't have had the drawers out like that but i have to cover one maybe two of them from the damage <laughs> but the chest of drawers she had before came to like here and when we got the big bed in there's no way like it's quite a slim little area so there's no way that that's gonna fit so yeah i'm quite proud of that i'm gonna get some baskets and things because at the minute i've put all our hair bands and stuff in that makeup bag which isn't a permanent solution this is the other chest of drawers which is paused henry danger Paisley set all this up along the top there and yeah we're finally getting somewhere when her new bed comes it's gonna come to probably about here and then I'm gonna put the ottoman horizontally along by like under Paisley's little mirror these teddies here usually live on the base of the bed please help me guys with a storage solution for Squishmallow and teddies because this is outrageous um i don't know i don't know i would have a hammock with them on or i would put some more up there but this is quite a small room so i don't know and don't even talk to me about the hyperia husky that we won at thought park because he's nearly as big as this whole bed he's absolutely huge <laughs> i don't know where he's gonna live for now he's in bed with Paisley because she's in love with him and keeps cuddling him and yeah he was a really good price he made her super happy but it's just very very big yeah here's today's job so yeah, in short, Paisley's room is chaotic, but it's kind of organised chaos because everything has its little home and basically the kid just has too much stuff and a very small bedroom with nowhere to put the stuff. So I'll be working on that this week. I'm going to have some sort out like in the evenings after work and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up now because I'm super tired. We had that awesome, awesome day out and then I've just done all that furniture. And I feel like it's been fun yet productive, which is kind of the best kind of days. The rest of the weekend, I can't remember whether I said or not earlier, guys, we've literally just chilled because it was so needed like i've done all the housework we've done a big food job and then just relaxed watched films watched tv and switched off essentially which is quite rare i'm more of a go 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 kind of gal so yeah that was that and i hope you've enjoyed watching along if you have please do give the video a big thumbs up i'll be back said terminator <laughs> <laughs> The next vlogs are probably going to be a big Q&A. You guys have sent your questions over on Instagram. If you've got any more, pop them in the comments here below. And I'm going to do a What's New in Primark for the start of June video. Because I think, when's June, Rob? Like two days. Maybe even tomorrow. 
no, next week. Next week. Crazy. This year is just flying. But yeah, that's probably what you'll see from me next. And then, towards the end of June, we'll start to have some Centre Parks content, which I'm really excited for. Like, hi, Brady. Hello, Mr. Footprints. We're, we're getting ready for it. We've booked all our activities. We've got emails from them about checking in and checking cars in and registration and stuff. So it's getting exciting. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and take my makeup off, which I just can't wait to do, really. It's like the most satisfying thing at the end of the day. So yeah, I'll let you guys go. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>